sweet success. Coming up at 545, how a single mother's dream has blossomed into a multi-million dollar company. What started as an edible gift, a bouquet of decorated sugar cookies, blossomed into a big business 30 years later. A Plano-based company celebrates a milestone while introducing a new cookie for the first time. Here's CBS 11's Elizabeth Den. The sweet smell of freshly baked sugar cookies is the first thing I noticed during a recent tour of the Cookies by Design corporate office in Plano. We bring our ingredients in through here, and this is the equipment that we use and the, the group that comes in each morning and bakes our, our cookies. For the made-to-order goodies, there's a large wall of cookie cutters in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Nearby, workers knead, roll, and cut out shapes from the sugar cookie dough. And this year, the company celebrates 30 years of business. And looking back, it has really grown. Uh, founder owner Gwen Gillum uh, was a 43-year-old, newly divorced, single mom. And she had a great idea of combining flowers and cookies because she realized there wasn't really a gift for guys. Today, there are 100 franchises across the country, plus some locations expected to open outside the U.S. Cookies by Design stuck to its original sugar cookie recipe until now. What we like to say is if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Gluten-free cookies are now available, giving people with celiac disease another edible option. When you take that gluten out, it really takes a lot of work and a little bit of science and a lot of luck and a lot of patience to really mimic that and, and create a product that tastes as good as a, a non-gluten-free product. To prevent cross-contamination, the company says gluten-free batches are made in a separate area. The company worked for months to perfect its gluten-free recipe, not only to make sure it followed FDA standards, but also that, mmm, it tasted good too. You guys really should try this. Oh wait, we got something here. Mmm. Well, we'll just go ahead and send this your way. In Plano, Elizabeth Din, CBS 11 News. Well, the people at Cookies by Design sent us our own baskets, even going old school for some of our class photos. Yeah, there's some old school Here photos. Here it is. <laughs> I, look, I, think... I look like Steve Carell in the 40-year-old virgin poster. But you look happy. Like I'm like <gasps> doing that? <laughs> well, you just look happy. Okay. Stephanie's is a throwback to, I think, the 90s. And mine, mm, I want to say it's like 2009, 2010. Whitney's got a newer, newer picture yeah, on there. Yeah, hers is fresh. Hers is representative. And so is Scott's, I think. <laughs> so Isn't that, is that an old picture? They all had no. <laughs> what's happening. Yeah, oh. yours is, you don't a have a large dome. For sure. Yes. My goodness, you have a large head, sir, <laughs> said the person watching to the weatherman. Okay, let's head up for a check <laughs> with Whitney. Those are very cool. Yeah? I'm going to eat one now.